Hi and welcome to the Insolvency Experts video series entitled The Top 20 Tips for Surviving in Small Business. I'm Steve Kugel. The next few tips in this series are dedicated to dealing with a problem suffered by a significant proportion of businesses. Most businesses that will encounter it will be left bruised and battered but thankfully will have sufficient wherewithal to survive. Unfortunately, many others will be fatally wounded and forced to liquidate. The problem involves the management of accounts receivable, also known as the debtor's ledger. Now firstly, getting paid for the supply of your goods or services when they've been fairly provided is a perfectly reasonable expectation, but the truth is some people will always find fault or make excuses to avoid paying up. As such, if you're going to offer credit terms, you need to do whatever you can to protect yourself and improve your prospects of debt recovery and therefore business survival. In tip four of this series, Terms and Conditions, I recommended you have your lawyer prepare credit application and other forms drafted in your favor. I repeat that now and suggest your credit application forms should at a minimum include a personal guarantee of the director requesting the credit, a charging clause that would give you the right to lodge a caveat on the personal property of that director and a properly drafted and registered retention of title clause that would enable the collection of your stock in the event you are not paid. Apart from this and before doing any business whatsoever, you need to further protect yourself by doing your homework on all prospective trading partners. You and you alone are able to choose who is worthy of your credit and it is therefore you who are responsible for undertaking credit checks through commercial credit agencies and directorship searches through the ASIC so you understand the history of who you are dealing with and to conduct property searches of the director and their spouse to see if there is property and who owns that property so that you can then tailor your credit application forms to suit. Sometimes, and despite your best efforts, your research will find there is no property available and that you will be taking a commercial risk in providing credit with a particular customer. When this happens, as it inevitably will, you must ensure that you set and strictly enforce a credit limit and have procedures in place to deal with such accounts if you are required to place a stop on that account. When it comes to doing business and providing credit, some things are beyond your control but you must control what you can. Remember, if you have a financial problem, either corporate or personal, the insolvency experts operate a confidential and entirely free 24-hour insolvency advice line with all calls able to be anonymous if required. Call us 24 hours on 1300 767 525 and we'll be there to help.